Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the MPC Touch in Ableton Live. As always, before we begin, make sure that you have the MPC Touch drivers and software installed already. In Ableton, we're going to create a new MPC track by dragging the MPC plugin to an empty MIDI track. Your screen might flicker for a second. This is just the MPC Touch display being recognized by your computer. Now, in the MPC software, Click on the menu icon in the upper left and choose Edit Preferences. In the Preferences menu, click on Hardware. Under Controls, there's a Record, Overdub dropdown that lets you select whether the transport controls on the MPC Touch will control the plugin directly or your DAW. I want to show you how easy it is to map this in Ableton, so choose Record, Overdub to Host DAW and click OK. Back in your Ableton window, navigate to Options and choose Preferences. Under the MIDI Sync tab, make sure that Track and Remote are turned on for the MPC Touch. This will allow Ableton to see the incoming MIDI messages from the MPC Touch's transport control. When you're done, exit Preferences. Select Options once more and choose Edit MIDI Map. Everything that's now highlighted in blue can be mapped to an incoming MIDI command. Click the Play button followed by the Play button on the MPC Touch hardware. Continue with Stop and Record. Once you're done, go back to Options and deselect Edit MIDI Map so that you won't be assigning any more commands. That's it. You're now ready to use the MPC Touch and control Ableton Live's transport with your hardware. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave your questions and comments in the section below, and thanks for watching. Until next time.